So when you watch a church live stream, before the service starts, there is a segment that they call a pre-service. And basically, it's either some talking with a guest speaker or just some two people talking or just one person talking about some stuff. Some people like our church, we don't do that. Instead, we use info cards or like announcement slides where before the service, you basically know the church schedules within the month or within the week. People don't think that it's easy to make this stuff. And to be honest, I also didn't know at first. People think that you need Photoshop for every single photo or slide that I've shown you, but no, you don't need that expensive Adobe stuff. You can basically do it for free. And today I'm gonna show you how to do that. Hello everyone, my name is PJ helping you increase your knowledge in online media. So for this to work, we're gonna need, we're gonna open two websites. The first website will be what's called cmgcreate.com. This is basically a website to find graphic resources for your church. Just because this is a website doesn't mean they don't have paid stuff. The only thing that you're gonna pay for this website is, or you're gonna pay from this site is for the uh, motion graphics, the animated backgrounds, but the rest of them are free. Like, look at this. These steel backgrounds are all free. You can use them however you like. And this is where you can get your background, so you don't need to use like Photoshop or everything. If you need a background, just find it from this. I don't know why this one looks like uh, a freaking UFO is coming down to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> but here, look, we even use this. In fact, the the current intro you just saw used this three, no, this five, five specific backgrounds for the YouTube intro. <laughs> and you also have this one. And not only can you use this for your announcement slides, you can also use this as a background for your church lyrics. And it's pretty amazing and they're all for free. I can basically use this because this looks like a very nice background. This one too. Now, we are gonna just take one background and you can change it to any size. 16 by 9 is basically a video crop, like a sort of rectangle. Rectangle is very long. 16 by 3, it's more uh, wide. 4 by 3 is basically when you use the square thing in PowerPoint where people, because our church doesn't use a, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio when presenting PowerPoint slides, we use a 4 by 3. It kind of looks like a square, but not really a square. <laughs> But we're gonna use 16 by 9 because it, we're doing this for the live stream, not for our projector screen. So what else is there for CMG Create? So another thing is still titles. So not only can you just grab a background anytime you like, you can also grab some titles like this. Welcome, thanks for joining us, happy Easter. And not only can you grab the backgrounds, we're not gonna use it though because I bet everybody's just downloading this. We're gonna have this, the pro layers. So the checkered marks on the background it means that it's a transparent background so the only thing uh, you can see when it's downloaded is this circle this square not square rectangle this cross so th this is like the layer stuff so this is when you add like some little fine details to make your graphic look professional and cool it's not, it's not just a simple text and background in a picture and you also have pro layers this uh, text are from the pro titles not the pro layers these are pro layers uh, these are pro titles like worship welcome we're glad you're here welcome please take a seat welcome to upcoming events titan offerings the lord's supper it's basically announcement text everything look they have different designs now this one is uh bordered up with a, a square or a rectangle so yeah just download stuff so what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna have this one. We're gonna make a simple one. I'm not gonna make it too complex or too confusing for you. So we're just gonna download this, probably this one. Thanks for joining us. Sometimes you're also gonna make one for like your church name. It's not really a necessary thing, but we have a name for a church. <laughs> like uh, if you see this, um, we have a, our church logo below here. And we, we have every single slide with uh, the logo of our church in the end of this one. 
This is actually before the pre-server, so it's like, you know where the live stream where everything is black at first and then it suddenly starts, so we have this instead of like a black screen. That's why it says our service will begin shortly. So now we're gonna make the slide, so how are we gonna do that? Again, we don't use Photoshop. I don't want you to spend some money just to make slides. It's a waste of money to spend on Photoshop just to make slides, where there's a lot of alternatives that are free. And one of them is Canva. Canva is an online graphic design website. I don't really know what's the full meaning of the site or what it stands for, but just know that it's a graphic design website and it's free. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna log in, you know, sign up and then just create a design. Either you type it here, so there's already stuff that you already need. So like a YouTube channel or presentation four by three or presentation 16 by nine. But I prefer to also just click on here like Facebook posts, they have everything around here. Look, a story for your uh, Instagram story, your YouTube channel logo, everything you need is literally here. I even make my presentations here. <laughs> Just click on presentation 16 by nine and here you go. We have here our canvas. And if really, if you, if you didn't choose any of this and just want it straight out of uh, Canva, you can also do that because there's literally templates here. Sorry, you can have like church. There's already themes here. There's even some animated background, see? So if you want, there's already themes here that you need. So there's like one thing, the fruit of the spirit, gentleness, and then you add some verse. So you can also do that in your presentations if you want. Okay, this is about uh, Galatians 5, 10, 2, 10, 3, okay. And you can also do that, just copy everything. And what you need is you're just gonna delete this photo and then change something, change it into something else. Like imagine if I just put my, uh, no. Uh, if I just uh, drag my face over here, just drag it and this, and then you can also do that. You can crop it, uh, increase the size if you want to. You can do that. And you're basically fine with that and just change the text. But if you really want to do this manually, then there's also another way to do that. So uh, you can upload media. If you go, to, you go to uploads, you can press upload media. And then when you go to upload media, you go to where you downloaded your uh, files, like the text and the backgrounds, and then just open it. And it will load up. So once you choose that, you can either just click it or you drag it. So I'm just going to click it and it comes right here. So here we have like the margins that there's like magnets on or snapping. So you can actually know when it's centered like this one. You know when it's centered when it's like that. And this is like the border where it's like the safe area. But yeah, we're going to fill the whole background. And so there. Now we have a background. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to welcome. We're glad you're right here. So you're basically done at this point. You don't need like some serious stuff, but if you really want to do something like I did here, by the way, this is all really made on Canva and some of the backgrounds I actually grabbed from CMG. So sky's the limit. You can design anything with Canva and CMG combined. So it's a very powerful combination. This one, uh, this is also a pro layer. I locked it just so it wouldn't move. So this is also a pro layer, by the way. So I grabbed it from the pro layer from here. I grabbed it from uh, the titles from before, like here. I grabbed it from one of these here. So again, there's lots to choose from if you want designs and it's just up to you to think what's what looks good and what doesn't look good. And what's best is that uh, this picture is like this person here holding uh, a, a tablet. You can also find it on elements and then just find like pictures like um let's say a laptop search for laptop there are pictures of laptops there are pictures of people on laptops like this guy right here so you can also add that as a background if it relates to what you're presenting like this one it says follow us on social media by the way i didn't i didn't the only thing i didn't add in our sliders announcement slides is the text we didn't add the text from cmg we, add, we added our own text because you can also do that. So when you, you know what, let's just put it here. So when I delete uh, this text, you can also add text here. 
And then there's already like stuff to choose from. You basically just need to choose one. And if you see some of these, it says pro because Canva also has a pro option. There's like a heading here. You can also use this one, but I'll just prefer like the main ones. The more minimalist you make it look, the more good looking it is. You don't want it to be too full of stuff and then people are now focusing on the design instead of what you're trying to present, like the text. So we're just gonna type in like, welcome, thanks for joining us. And then just drag it on dead center. You can see that because of the cross. And now you can just change the colors. Like that one, I can't clearly see the text. So that's why you, we can change it to a different color, like probably pink or something like black if you want to. But if you want to make it uh, link it with the background, this way it says photo colors. That means uh, this is like the colors that your background use. And you can basically like um, just copy it to make it look more uh, presentable or more in line with the background because you don't want something blue and yellow. It looks weird. It doesn't fit with the background, so it's either you have to blend this, or if you want the most simple thing, just just add white, just add white, because the background is clearly light. So just follow the stuff. So it's either that, or you just click on the background, you click on Edit Image, then just lower the contrast if you want to. That makes the text more um, clear for the viewers. And to do that, then probably lower the brightness a little bit to make it darker. Because the background doesn't really need to be like super flashy to the eyes. You just need the background is just there to not make it look plain. You can do that as well. And then you can also change the font of your text. I, I usually do this font, uh, the Bernoro Ultra. It's really it, I don't know why wide text for me looks cool. And then there you have that and. Uh, next, we're gonna make uh, another stuff. So we're just gonna duplicate it and then I'm gonna delete this text. Oh, wait, no, we're not gonna delete this text. Um, we're gonna resize it, put it in center again. You can see this one line. This one is for vertical, this one is for horizontal centering. So we're gonna uh, line it up vertically. We're gonna make it center vertically. And now we're gonna go to elements. Then we can add not graphics. Um, we can add frames or grids. Uh, what's frames and grids? These are like frames where you can place pictures on it. So if you have this a design. So an example of this is um, let me look for something. If I add something like this on on center, and then I just add an image right here. Um, Let's make it this one. And now you have an image in the center. I might increase the size on that. That's what's cool. And then you can actually just replace it right here also if you want to increase the size of this and just put this on the side. You can also do that. Look, it's a pretty simple design, but it's powerful. And if you want to export this, you can just click on download or share. You can press download then you can either select like individual pages if you want to like only one page one or page two or you can just click all pages and then you can choose the file file type like if it's a pdf a jpeg a png you should use png uh, you can also want an mp4 video if you want this to be an animation i'll make a separate video about that topic and that's basically it just press download and it will download and now I'm gonna teach you how does it work on OBS. So this is like our still image. Uh, why did I do that? This is our stream image. So this is gonna be before your live stream. So we're just gonna show it. But you don't need to do that again. This is this video is about announcement slides, not uh, this one. So I just named the scene to opening. It's the same thing as a pre-service. And then this shows up. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna show the timer though, it's a different topic, so. Um, that's what I actually do, like I just add here an image slideshow. Then on that image slideshow, I just 
but it always play even when not visible it means that even if I go to a different scene uh, the slideshow will keep going but I would prefer it to like pause when not visible unpause when visible so that you're also saving uh, your power or CPU power for using it because you don't want to be running your live stream and then this slideshow it keeps playing even though you're not using it for like an hour it's a waste of performance and now I'm just gonna put slide mode to automatic if you want manual that means you have to set up hotkey so you, you're the one manually uh, pressing the next button transition and just put it at fade and then time between slides milliseconds i set it up to 12,000. that means 12 seconds each slide before it transitions to the other one then transition speed uh how fast or how slow does it transition animation is then i just loop it i just loop it in case if uh the service in case if the time we don't have a timer and we're not managing our time properly at that time so I just put it on loop so that when it finishes all of the slides, it just goes back to the beginning. And here we have, we add our files. You can either add files or add directory. I would prefer to put this in one, one folder and then just press add directory and just click that folder instead of manually adding each file, especially when you have a lot of slides like I do. I actually have like seven slides here. So I, I had to, uh, add directory I have to place them in one folder and then just add that folder instead of each file and just press ok and then there you have it and you just need to resize all of them and just lock it so that you won't accidentally move it around and then there you go so the moment when I go to this scene it still is stuck here because I set it to pause when I'm on a different slide I mean on a different scene and there you have it a church announcement slide Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>